are guys so making this video I guess it already cut out so I'll try to get that one piece back but so far what I've done so far I just hit the flower center gotta start getting beveled out so continue back from here so I'm doing is going around beveling it on these divots right here I use my round beveler to get in there so it doesn't square it off so right now I'm just going back through and uh, finishing beveling on these edges I'm going to start off light and work can hit it harder as I go out round it back off like I said we'll start off deep down here as we get back in there, we'll start lightening up. Finish the one last side. And it's beveled. Oh, we can see that. So what I'm going to do from here, take I'm not really sure what it's called, it's kind of a pear shader. This is a regular pear shader, I forget what this tool is called. Right there, I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to go around the inside of the flower center. Using that round edge, just being careful not to hit any of the petals. I'm going to take our time, let me see if I can angle it to where you guys could see it. Ooh. Do one pedal at a time. When you're using this tool, you want to make sure you're rotating it as you turn. Otherwise, you're just going to get one straight line going across. Go ahead and go back across and give it a couple good hits in the centers. So, I think a little something like that. You can go as far that as you want. I'm going to probably put a couple more tabs in exactly how I wanted it. Just like that. All right, from that point. What you want to do, grab your leather parachader. And there's no certain way you have to do this, but I just, one, two, you could just go even them out on each side. So I'm going to use a smaller, oh, I'll use a bigger side. Okay, one big hit. Like that. You want to make sure your stamp is always facing inwards to the flower. You don't want it to be like crooked or sideways. So just make sure each time you tap it, it's facing inward towards the center of the flower. Go ahead. Just like that. <coughs> Excuse me. It's pretty good so far. Not, not too hard, easy. Then we'll come up. I believe Tandy calls them uplifters. We come back through with these uplifters right here. We're gonna go on the pedals to hurry it, bring them pedals up a little bit. So just like that. On each side, we'll use that round beveler. Just go back up through. Tap it a couple times. 
gonna lift them pedals up and make them look really nice. Just be careful you don't hit too hard, you wanna go through the back of your leather. But give it a nice uplifting look. Just like so. You can see where it pulls up on that pedal, makes it look really nice. And then all that's left is to uh, flip a knife. Uh, usually I wet my leather after I do a belt or wallet. Kind of get it nice and wet before I go back through with my swivel knife. But I think this is still pretty well uh, wet. So we'll go ahead and throw some nice little decorative cuts in there. So what I'm going to do is do something simple like this. Usually isn't the type of flower I use in my work, but still a nice flower. Go ahead and yeah, that's your end result right there. Turns out to be a pretty nice flower. Let me see if I can get closer just like that. Yeah, nothing too hard, something easy to do. I'm gonna make a quick video, helping you out. I know some of the audience are learning how to make your flowers and what tools to use where. So I think the only ones I use, I use my flower center. I have two bevelers, got a just regular round beveler, square beveler, I forget, I forget that's the name. I've got my two pair of shaders. I think there's a pair of shaders, what it's called. But that's that. Alright, thanks for tuning in for this video. Appreciate it. I'll try to get more up soon. But uh, hopefully, this helps someone out. Thank you.